I've completed this little study in oils a few months ago, but I've been looking at it and there are a few areas that I would like to rework. So it's already varnished, so I'll have to remove the varnish before I can do anything. I normally use the Gamsol from the Gamblin company to remove the varnish and I would normally use the Gamva varnish and that's really really easy to remove with the Gamsol. In this specific painting I've actually used a spray on varnish from Golden. So today I'm going to try my normal method and see if I can remove this varnish in the same way as I do with the Gamva. So I'm going to start with the one corner of the painting. I'm going to start over here and I'm just going to soften the varnish a little bit with the with the Gamsol. And when you soften the varnish you can actually you can feel it becoming a bit sticky and you just keep on wiping in the same direction so what I'm doing is I'm wetting the area wiping in that direction and then I just use a clean part of the t-shirt or whatever lint-free cloth you want to use and I just wipe off the wet varnish as I go along and one can actually see the difference as well in this case I've used a quite a matte varnish so sometimes if you use a glossy varnish it's even easier to see as you wipe off the glossy areas so the important thing is to just keep on working in the same direction. And then I just use a dry part again. I'm going to do this a few times. So I'll go over the whole painting and then I'll start again in this corner and just go through the whole painting again. I haven't used a very very thick layer of varnish on this painting, just a thin layer and I've just used a single layer. If you've used really thick layers and quite a few layers it might be a little bit more difficult than this to, to get your varnish off. And I think another important thing to keep in mind if your painting isn't very stable you might actually damage your painting when you take the varnish off in this case I've used liquid original as my medium and that's a very very strong medium so I've got much less of a chance of damaging my painting when I remove the varnish so in these areas I can feel over here it's getting a bit sticky where my varnish is starting to break up but it's still there in this area it's 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 still quite dry just keep on going like that So I've done this with a lot of small paintings. I've also done it with large paintings. It's exactly the same method. In this case, the painting was done on a, on a piece of MDF. It's just a little study, but it's exactly the same when you've done the painting on canvas. And I just keep on going in the same direction. I'm going to use a completely dry t-shirt now and just give it a wipe, get all of that off. I can feel it's still a bit sticky, there's a little bit of varnish 
still on day but it worked quite well and it will really depend on the type of varnish there are certain varnishes on the market that is not that easy to get off so I'm going to use a bit of the camsole again now just start in that same corner and I'm going to go in the same direction Use my dry cloth again and just wipe off any varnish that has dissolved. Then I'm just going to go to the wet again, do this little bit. I think if you remove varnish. Just be careful. Like I said, there is a possibility of damaging the paint surface underneath. And you'll sa see some resources say, keep on checking the cloth that you're using to see if it discolors with some of the paint. If it discolors, if it, discolors it means that you're wiping off paint. I would really not want to go that far because if there's some paint on your rack you've already damaged your painting and what I would sometimes even do I would after I've done this I will give it a bit of time and when it's dry I will just check it and make sure that I don't see any areas of varnish that I've remained. But yeah this is this is how easy it is to get a lot of the different types of varnish off your painting.